This example shows how to use one, two, or three servos with the Serial Wombat 4B or four servos with the Ser Serial Wombat 4A. In order to use the Serial Wombat, you need to download the Serial Wombat library. Another video is available that shows how to do this. Include SerialWombat.h and declare a Serial Wombat. Then declare however many servos you want to use, up to three ser servos for the Serial Wombat 4B or up to four ser servos for the Serial Wombat 4A. Under Setup, start your communication bus. This can be either I squared C for the Serial Wombat 4B or Serial for the Serial Wombat 4A. You'll want to put the I2C address in the begin so that you get the proper Serial Wombat. We have to attach to the servo which was declared above. In this case, we're giving a PIN number, not the Arduino's PIN number, but the Serial Wombat PIN number to which the servo is attached. I have two servos attached, one of which is a continuous rotation servo, the other is a standard 180 degree servo. The continuous servo is on pin 2, the standard servo is on pin 3. In our main loop, we're going to make the standard servo move back and forth, and we're going to make the continuous servo spin in one direction, then the other. The Serial Wombat library implements the servo write method that takes a parameter from 0 to 180 degrees. This is approximately 7.5 bits of resolution. The Serial Wombat is capable of 10 bits or more depending on the, num on the length of the relative pulses. And so there's also the option to write a 16-bit value. This value ranges from 0 to 65535 for full left or full right. We can see in the video here that the two servos are moving in the same direction. There are multiple versions of the attach command. The standard one takes only a pin. Another Arduino compatible version takes minimum and maximum pulse times as measured in microseconds. A Serial Wombat extension adds the ability to reverse the servo. We'll upload the reversed servo method and whereas previously the standard and continuous servo were rotating in the same direction, we'll see now they're moving in opposite directions each time, there's, each time we go through our code and there's a change. As you can see, the Serial Wombat servo library is as easy to use as the standard Arduino servo library and provides a couple of additional functions. One item to note is that the Arduino typically runs on a crystal, whereas the Serial Wombat runs on an internal oscillator, which may have a frequency variation of up to 2%, although typically most parts are closer than that. As a result, your trimming values on the Serial Wombat may be slightly different than your trimming values on the Arduino. Shown here is a fritzing version of the circuit we're using. Our Arduino Uno is attached to the Serial Wombat 4B by I2C data and clock. There's a 100 nanofarad capacitor across our Serial Wombat to ensure stability. We have two resistors on the I2C bus to pull them up. We have two servos, a standard and a continuous rotation. They're being powered by an external 5 volt power supply, not shown here. It's generally not a good idea to drive inductive loads such as servos directly from the power rails of your Arduino. The control lines from each servo goes to Serial Wombat 2 and Serial Wombat pin 3. We alternatively could have used pin 1. 1, 2, and 3 are all outputs. Pin 0 on the 4B cannot control the servo because it is an input only pin. On the Serial Wombat 4A, pins 0, 1, 2, and 3 are all capable of driving servos. If you have any questions about this example or this sketch, or if you've been successful in using the Serial Wombat for driving a servo, please leave a comment in the area below. The Serial Wombat open source project was created by Broadwell Consulting Incorporated. Broadwell Consulting Incorporated provides help developing medical devices with a focus on developing embedded firmware, which is compliant with IEC 62304, ISO 14971, and ISO 13485, as well as remediation assistance for products already in production. For more information, contact John at Broadwell Consulting. Support requests 
for Serial Wombat should be sent to help at serialwombat.com and will be answered on an as-available basis. Questions sent to John at Broadwell Consulting about the Serial Wombat will not be returned.